Okay, this is a Bryant 355 MAV. And what I'm going to go through today is we're going to talk about how this variable speed inducer works and how it comes up to speed, makes the pressure switch, and adjusts down. What this variable speed inducer does is match the, its own speed with the venting. So there's a certain amount of resistance in the venting and it's variable depending on how long and how many uh, elbows are in it and, and on like that. It adjusts its speed to get a certain amount of vacuum. I'm going to let this thing run until the burner comes on and you'll see it adjust down. It doesn't start adjusting down until the burner lights. Once that burner lights, it'll adjust down. Okay, a quick little uh, explanation of how this thing's going to work. Now, I've got this meter mounted here, uh, and it's showing this pressure switch. And it's going to show voltage until the pressure switch changes position and closes. This meter here is going to give me the vacuum that uh, is inside the furnace. Now what this inducer is going to do is it is because it's a variable speed inducer it is going to match the negative pressure in the vent to the venting. Uh, if it's not a variable speed it just goes up to a certain amount and if the venting is clear, it makes. What this does is adjust the inducer speed or the vacuum. The inducer speed creates a vacuum. It adjusts that speed to the venting. And it's going to go up well above what it needs to make the pressure switch. And you, you'll see the pressure go way up on this and you'll, of course you'll see that pressure switch close. And then once it lights, it's going to drop down. It's going to remember the speed it was when the pressure switch made. And it's going to go back and be a little above that. So let's watch it work. You have to listen close to the inducer. Okay, it's on. You notice we have our pressure switch open. Now it's closed. It was a little below one. It was actually about 0.78 or 9 or something like that. Okay, now it's going to go through the trial for ignition. It'll warm up the hot surface igniter and then it's going to light the burner. Now you notice our vacuum is staying high. I uh, heard the little click for the hot surface igniter. Gas valve will be on here pretty soon. Okay, the burner's on now. And you can see our vacuum is dropping because the RPM of the inducers going down. You see it dropped down to 80 and I think it's like 77 or something like it made it or 75. Uh, so it's going to go down almost to that and just right back up a little bit and then it's just going to sit right in there that gives the highest efficiency for the burn because we're not bringing in too much cold air into the burn and getting too much excess air. We're reducing the amount of excess air when we reduce the speed of that inducer. And so you get a little bit more uh, efficiency out of the burn. Now I'm going to shut this off and I'm not going to say anything during this cycle so if you want to listen to everything here, uh, you can listen to it without me jabbering all the time.
that's how the variable speed inducer adapts itself to the existing venting to give the most efficient work.